Welcome back to the Health Benefits Hub channel. In 2023, approximately 2 million individuals received cancer diagnoses in the United States, while about 1.4 million cases were reported in India, and roughly 239,000 diagnoses occurred in Canada. Unfortunately, these numbers continue to rise annually, bringing significant distress as cancer not only affects the individuals directly, but also deeply impacts their loved ones. The journey for those facing cancer is undeniably challenging. Now, let's delve into the underlying causes of this disease. Can dietary choices truly influence cancer development? The answer is unequivocally yes. Certain foods have been linked to an increased risk of cancer, while genetics and lifestyle factors play significant roles in cancer susceptibility. Our dietary habits can also contribute to this condition. Some foods contain harmful chemicals or compounds associated with cancer, while others may promote inflammation or contribute to cancer through various mechanisms. It's crucial to stay educated about these cancer-promoting foods and make informed dietary choices to reduce the risk of developing this devastating illness. It's essential to recognize that cancer can affect even the healthiest individuals. Therefore, disregarding our lifestyle choices and consuming whatever we desire is not advisable. Maintaining a diet rich in nutrients and healthy components not only improves overall well-being, but also lowers the chances of developing various diseases, including cancer. Now, let's examine some foods acknowledged as cancer-causing agents and understand why it's prudent to eliminate them from our diets. Number one, popcorn. Popcorn, a beloved snack often enjoyed during movie nights, may require reconsideration, especially microwave popcorn, as it has been linked to potential cancer risks. The concern lies in the packaging as microwave popcorn bags commonly contain chemicals like perfluoroctanoid acid or PFOA and perfluoroctane sulfonate or PFOS while these chemicals prevent oil from seeping into the packaging during microwaving, they can leach into the popcorn itself. The association between microwave popcorn and cancer risk is based on animal studies that link PFOA to tumor development. Although findings from animal studies may not directly translate to human health risks, they raise valid concerns about the safety of regular microwave popcorn consumption. Moreover, the potential dangers extend beyond consumers to individuals working in industries associated with PFOA production, highlighting the adverse health effects, including the increased risk of prostate cancer linked to prolonged exposure to these chemicals. Given these concerns, it may be prudent to explore alternative snack options during movie nights, ones that do not carry the potential health risks associated with microwave popcorn. Number two, smoked foods. Smoked foods, particularly smoked meat, are favored for their unique and enticing flavor profile. However, the smoking process involves the utilization of nitrates and nitrites, additives that act as preservatives, thwarting the growth of harmful bacteria in prolonging food shelf life. While this may seem advantageous for food safety, there's a downside to this preservation technique. When subjected to high temperatures during cooking or smoking, these nitrates and nitrites undergo a chemical shift forming compounds termed and nitroso compounds, including nitrosamines and nitrosamides. These compounds have been identified as carcinogenic, posing a risk for cancer development. 
Research has associated the consumption of foods containing N-nitroso compounds with an elevated risk of various cancers, particularly gastrointestinal malignancies like stomach and colorectal cancer. This is concerning because these compounds can disrupt cellular and DNA functions, fostering the growth of cancerous cells. Additionally, the health hazard linked to these carcinogens extend beyond cancer. Excessive consumption of smoked foods may lead to stomach infections due to the disruption of beneficial gut bacteria by N-nitroso compounds. Moreover, smoked foods often contain elevated sodium levels due to the curing process, which can contribute to hypertension, stroke, and diabetes risk when consumed excessively. Given these health risks, individuals fond of smoked flavors should contemplate alternatives such as utilizing different seasonings or marinades to enhance their dishes' tastes. By doing so, they can mitigate their exposure to carcinogenic and nitroso compounds in smoked foods and make healthier dietary choices. Number three, sugar. A diet high in sugar has been associated with an elevated risk of cancer attributed to several interconnected mechanisms within the body. Firstly, excessive sugar consumption can induce chronic inflammation, fostering an environment conducive to cancer cell growth and dissemination. Additionally, sugar-rich foods trigger insulin release to regulate blood sugar levels, but prolonged high sugar intake may lead to insulin resistance, prompting increased insulin production by the pancreas. Elevated insulin levels have been observed to stimulate cancer cell proliferation as these cells commonly possess insulin receptors. Furthermore, a high sugar diet can contribute to obesity as sugar-laden beverages and foods are calorie dense but lack essential nutrients and fiber. Obesity, in turn, is a recognized risk factor for various cancers, including breast, ovarian, and colorectal cancer. Finally, the abundant availability of glucose and fructose in sugar can directly fuel cancer cell energy demands, potentially facilitating their growth and division. To mitigate these risks, it is essential to monitor sugar intake and prioritize a balanced diet rich in whole foods such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. These natural sugar sources also provide vital nutrients, antioxidants, and fiber, counteracting the potential cancer-promoting effects of sugar. Number four, farm fish. Fish from aquaculture, though readily accessible and convenient, come with particular concerns compared to their wild counterparts. One significant issue pertains to the presence of contaminants and chemicals in the fish's diet and environment, posing potential health hazards. Typically, these fish are fed an unnatural diet, often high in corn or grain-based feed, diverging significantly from the natural diet of wild fish. This dietary difference can lead to variations in the nutritional content of the fish, potentially impacting essential nutrients like omega-3 fatty acids. In aquaculture, various chemicals are utilized to uphold fish health and ensure smooth operations. Notably, pesticides are employed to combat sea lice infestations in densely populated farm settings. While crucial for parasite prevention, the use of these pesticides raises concerns about chemical residues seeping into the fish. Additionally, depending on farming practices and water sources, farm-raised fish may encounter contaminants such as heavy metals, polychlorinated biphenyls, or PCBs, and other pollutants, which can accumulate in the fish's tissue over time. The connection between farm-raised fish and cancer risk primarily revolves around the potential presence of these contaminants and chemicals in the fish. Elevated levels of certain contaminants like PCBs and dioxins 
have been linked to heightened cancer risk when consumed excessively for prolonged periods, owing to their toxic and carcinogenic properties. Number five, hydrogenated oils. Hydrogenated oils, commonly referred to as trans fats, have become a concerning dietary element due to their association with an increased cancer risk. This link between trans fats and cancer stems from several interconnected factors. Firstly, the hydrogenation process utilized extensively in the production of processed foods to solidify liquid oils inadvertently generates trans fats, thereby poisoning health risks. These trans fats present in hydrogenated oils are implicated in fostering chronic inflammation within the body, a well-known precursor to cancer development. This persistent inflammation creates an environment conducive to healthy cells transforming into cancerous ones. Additionally, trans fats have been found to elevate levels of LDL, low density lipoprotein cholesterol, often termed as bad cholesterol, which is a recognized risk factor for various cancers, such as breast and colorectal cancer. Elevated LDL cholesterol can induce oxidative stress and cellular damage, facilitating cancer initiation and progression. Furthermore, consuming trans fats may contribute to insulin resistance, reducing the body's insulin sensitivity and leading to heightened insulin levels, which have been linked to uncontrolled cancer cell growth. This metabolic disruption, coupled with the integration of trans fats into cell membranes, can disrupt cell signaling and communication, potentially promoting unregulated cell growth characteristic of cancer. To mitigate cancer risk, it is prudent to avoid foods containing hydrogenated oils and instead opt for healthier alternatives rich in beneficial fats like olive oil, avocado, and nuts, which not only add flavor but also promote overall well-being. Number six, fried foods. Fried foods include popular choices like French fries, fried chicken, and donuts have been linked to a higher risk of developing various types of cancer. When foods are deep fried at high temperatures, they can produce harmful compounds such as acrylamide. Studies have associated acrylamide with an increased likelihood of developing several cancers, including ovarian, kidney, and pancreatic cancer. Additionally, fried foods are often high in unhealthy fats and calories, which can contribute to obesity and other health problems that elevate the risk of cancer. To reduce your risk of cancer, it's recommended to limit your consumption of fried foods and choose healthier cooking methods like baking, grilling, or sauteing. These alternatives not only decrease exposure to harmful compounds, but also support overall health and well-being. Number seven, processed foods. Processed foods discussed in smoked foods contain compounds like nitrates and nitrites, which pose an increased risk of stomach cancer and various other malignancies. Moreover, they often include significant amounts of refined white flour, subjected to a hazardous refining process and containing numerous harmful chemicals. These foods are also characterized by their high content of unhealthy fats, contributing significantly to the ongoing obesity crisis. Additionally, processed foods are notorious for their excessive sugar content, providing little nutritional value beyond empty calories. Furthermore, they are engineered to encourage overconsumption, with food manufacturers investing heavily in creating products that stimulate pleasure centers in the brain, leading to overindulgence. This overconsumption inevitably results in weight gain and the multitude of health issues associated with obesity and excess body weight. The presence of various chemicals in processed foods, including preservatives, colorants, flavor enhancers, and texturizers, further raises concerns about their impact on health. Number eight, grain-fed red meat, including beef, pork, and lamb, has been linked to a higher risk of several types of cancer, such as colorectal, pancreatic, and prostate cancer. 
The association primarily arises from the composition of red meat, which is rich in saturated fat. The high saturated fat content can contribute to inflammation, thereby increasing the likelihood of cancer development. Furthermore, red meat contains hemi-iron, which can damage the lining of the colon, further raising the risk of colorectal cancer. To reduce your risk of cancer, it is advisable to moderate your intake of red meat. Instead, consider opting for leaner protein sources such as fish, chicken, grass-fed meat, or plant-based alternatives like bean and legumes. When consuming red meat, choose lean cuts and utilize healthier cooking methods such as grilling or broiling. Additionally, it's prudent to avoid processed meats like bacon and sausage as they have been associated with a higher risk of cancer. Number nine, soda. The consumption of soda has raised concerns regarding its potential association with an increased risk of cancer, prompting a reassessment of our soda consumption habits. Primarily, soda, along with other sugary beverages, is characterized by its high sugar content, contributing to calorie overconsumption and subsequent weight gain and obesity, both established risk factors for various cancers, including breast, colorectal, and pancreatic cancer. Furthermore, regular consumption of sugary drinks can induce insulin resistance, leading to elevated insulin levels associated with cancer cell growth stimulation. Additionally, the presence of potentially harmful chemicals in soda, such as caramel color and 4-methylimidazole, or also known as 4 MEI adds another potential risk factor. While the direct links between these additives and cancer in humans are still being studied, their presence raises concerns. The acidic nature of many sodas may contribute to dental erosion and increase the risk of oral cancers. While the acidic stomach environment created by soda consumption could also contribute to stomach cancer development. Moreover, Regular soda intake may displace healthier beverage choices, leading to reduced nutrient intake critical for cancer prevention and overall health. Given these concerns, limiting soda consumption and opting for alternatives like water, unsweetened tea, or whole goat or sheep milk is advisable. Number 10, white flour. Foods made from refined white flour, such as white bread and pasta, have been linked to an increased risk of various types of cancer, particularly colorectal cancer. This association stems from the extensive processing of white flour, which strips it of its essential nutrients and fiber. The nutrient depletion can contribute to inflammation and other health issues that elevate the chances of developing cancer. Additionally, white flour is commonly used in a wide range of processed foods, including crackers, cookies, and cakes, further amplifying the potential cancer risk with its consumption. To reduce your risk of cancer, it's recommended to use whole grain alternatives like whole wheat bread and pasta. These whole grains retain valuable nutrients and fiber, which not only help fight inflammation, but also support overall health and wellness. In conclusion, we've discussed vital details about 10 foods that are linked to cancer, suggesting that you either avoid them or consume them in moderation. It's important to remember that maintaining a healthy diet coupled with regular exercise and positive lifestyle habits can significantly lower your risk of cancer while improving your overall well-being. Take charge of your health by gradually implementing meaningful changes to your diet and lifestyle. If you found this information helpful, please consider giving us a thumbs up, sharing this video with your friends and family, and subscribing to our channel for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth, and happiness with the key to vitality in your hands.